This quiz will surely train your nose for lies. We're about to tell you some tricky, unbelievable facts. Let's see if you can tell lies from the truth. All mice love cheese. What do you say? Myth or fact? Now, one of the most common animal myths is that mice love cheese. It popped out a long time ago, probably as early as when people started storing food. Since mice are regular visitors to human homes, they were constantly looking for food they could eat. People used to store grains in glass jars. They also kept their meat hanging up high. But they'd lay the cheese on the shelf, which was an easy target for all the unwelcome pantry visitors like mice. So they ate it, because they couldn't reach anything better. But a mouse will definitely more likely go after chocolate, or some other sweet thing, than the cheese. Who can blame them? Flamingos stand in the water on one leg so they wouldn't get cold. Is it a fact or myth? Myth. Now, flamingos don't really stand in the water on one leg so they wouldn't get cold. This is just a simple way for them to spare the effort. It's exhausting for us humans to stand on one leg. But for them, this is the most stable position possible considering their peculiar anatomy. This pose doesn't require any muscular work. Now I'm jealous. Myth or fact? Fact. We're talking about animals with extraordinary resistance to some pretty extreme conditions. They can survive even when drinking water only every 8 to 10 days. But not because they have a secret stash on their back. It's because, when they have a chance to drink, they will swallow 50 gallons of water at one sitting. They mostly use it to replenish 30% of their total body weight, an amount they can lose by dehydration. So, they lose a lot of water but quickly regain it. Their humps are where they deposit fat, but it's not for producing water. The oxygen camels would need to inhale would cause them to lose too much water because it would evaporate through their lungs. That's why they use fat as a nutritional source for energy. This helps them survive in arid regions and times of scarcity. Blue whale's tongue can weigh as much as an average elephant. Do you think this is a myth or fact? Fact. Well, we're talking about the biggest animal ever known to have lived on our planet. It can grow up to 100 feet long with a weight of 200 tons. Its heart is as big as a car, and its tongue can weigh as much as an average elephant. The largest thing a blue whale can swallow is an aircraft. Myth or fact? Myth. It's easy to imagine a blue whale swallowing cars, people, and even small ships, perhaps. But it's all wrong. The largest thing it can actually swallow is a grapefruit. Its throat can take the size of a small salad plate. Whales feed on small fish, plankton, and marine crustaceans, so they don't need a bigger throat. But we wouldn't be able to survive the juices inside a blue whale's stomach anyway. It would finish us within 15 seconds similar to how long we'd last in space without a spacesuit. So don't try this. The next one. Ostriches hide their heads in the ground every time they're scared. Is it a fact or myth? It's one of the most widespread and oldest myths out there. A long time ago, researchers thought ostriches weren't very smart because they bury their heads in the ground without being aware the rest of their large bodies are still out there, where everyone can see them. In fact, ostriches do it when they want to swallow sand and pebbles to boost their digestion or just turn over the eggs they lay in their nests. And even then, they technically don't bury their head, but put it near the ground. Otherwise, with its head in the sand, the poor thing wouldn't be able to breathe. No reason to think of an ostrich as a frightened bird. Like some other animals, it will flee if it senses there's a danger coming. And in some situations, it'll fight back and defend itself. And that's one angry bird. Anteaters vacuum ants using their noses? Do you think this is a myth or fact? Myth. They don't go around looking for ants and hoovering them through their long snouts. 
Anteaters have very long tongues. Giant anteaters have tongues that go up to 2 feet long. It's the shape of a strand of spaghetti and covered in spiny hooks and sticky saliva that traps ants, up to 160 times in a minute, which means they eat up to 20,000 insects in a single day. That's a lot of bugs. They open anthills using their claws and then do the rest of the work with the tongue. They don't have teeth, so they only swallow all the insects they catch. You can survive an encounter with dinosaurs if you just freeze and stand still. Myth or fact? Myth. Movies might have given you a false sense of security when it comes to dinos. Nope, standing very, very still couldn't save you from a raging T-Rex coming after you. Uh Uh-uh. It's a myth. The dino king had bad vision. These beasts may have seen better than modern-day raptors. They had excellent death perception, something present in today's animals such as eagles and hawks. Even if, by some miracle, the dino king can't see you or thinks you're just a small tree or some other object because you're standing so still, they had a pretty good sense of smell. So the better option would be to run because the T-Rex is not as fast as scientists used to think, up to 33 miles per hour. Well, well, let's go ahead. Owls can spin their heads neither more nor less than 360 degrees. Myth or fact? Myth. Their head spinning does have its limit, 270 degrees in one direction. Since they can turn 270 degrees to the left and right, owls have a 540 degree range of motion. If you touch a butterfly's wings, it will lose its ability to fly. Myth or fact? Don't worry, it's a myth. It will survive. Despite the common myth, it says the opposite. Butterfly wings have scales. When you touch them, some scales might shed off. But it's not a bad thing, because they shed off naturally, too. Because of sheddable scales, they can escape more easily if they get stuck and trapped in spider webs. Wolves don't actually howl at the moon. Do you think this is a myth or fact? Fact. They typically howl at night, true, but because that's the period of time when they're most active. They'll also look up while howling since this helps the sound travel. That way, other wolves will hear them from around 6 to 7 miles away. And that's why they howl in the first place, to communicate with each other. They make specific sounds for a certain situation. For example, to help a wolf that lost its pack find its way home. The moon just happened to accidentally be there while wolves were communicating. Myth or fact? That's another myth. They sleep about four and a half hours daily. It's not that unusual for animal species that are most active during daylight. Studies also show giraffes usually lay down to sleep for less than 11 minutes at a time. Do you think this is a myth or fact? It's a myth. These small burrowing mammals actually can see. It's just their vision is really poor and only adapted to recognize light. They're also colorblind. When they're searching for food and navigating the dark underground, these creatures mostly rely on their touch and sense of smell. Now their sense of touch is sharp, which is why moles can feel nearby vibrations of activity. This helps them avoid danger or find their next meal more easily, like millipedes, worms, centipedes, and other invertebrates. Yum! They're really fast at digging and can dig a couple of inches per minute. Is it a myth or truth? It's true. When an animal is in hibernation, Its heart rate, body temperature, breathing, and other metabolic activities slow down significantly. That's how they conserve energy. Chipmunks, bats, turtles, snakes, they all hibernate during the winter, which saves them energy for other seasons when they get more active and are capable of getting more food. I'd say bears too, but they're not the true hibernators. If you try waking one up during the winter when you believe the animal is sleeping, you might end up having a bad time. 
Now, they do slow down, which means they sleep for extended periods of time. They're still not asleep for the entire winter season, and you can easily wake them during their sleep, so let's not. Is it a myth or true? Thankfully, it's just a myth. Now, don't believe myths. Earwigs won't lay eggs in your ears. Yup, despite their name, they're not that interested in your ears. Well, at least, there's no evidence they'd want to go there. They prefer to spend their time in dark, moist places, such as under tree bark or in soil. So, your ears are off the hook. You've found a long-forgotten chocolate bar somewhere deep in your desk. Yum! Nice surprise! But when you open it, you hesitate. There's some unpleasant-looking kind of dusty film on it. Beware, it's toxic. Eating it can be fatal. Fact or myth? Myth. It's just that the fat or cocoa butter used to make the chocolate has been separated from the rest of the bar because of the heat. As it cooled back down, it created this whitish film. The taste might be a little off, however, so it may be best to use it for cooking instead. And you'd have more self-control than I do. Fact or myth? Fact. The cute little carrots they sell at supermarkets are actually regular carrots that have been shaved down to this baby size. Is it a myth or truth? True. You would think strawberry-flavored gummy bears should be red or pink, right? Well, sorry to say, but they're green. Is it a myth or truth? True. Tomatoes bought at supermarkets often have a weak flavor. It has to do with how they're grown and stored afterwards. Tomatoes are gathered when not fully ripe yet, and they ripen in the transportation containers and on the store shelves. But if they're stored at temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit while not fully ripe, they lose a lot of their flavor. Brown rice and white rice are different products. Fact or myth? Myth. Brown rice and white rice are the same product. The white variety starts off as the brown one, but then some parts of it are removed by milling, which gives the rice its white color. This allows it to be stored for longer, but at the same time reduces the rice's nutritional value. Now, on the topic of rice, it was used to build the Great Wall of China. Myth or truth? True! The builders mixed sticky rice soup with lime and got rice mortar for construction. It was stronger and had better water resistance than regular lime mortar. Thanks to the rice soup, the Great Wall has been able to stand for centuries despite the elements. Myth or truth? True! If not picked, they will simply fall from the branch while still not ripe. When picked, though, they will become soft and flavorful just like we love them. This happens because of the burst of ethylene produced by the fruit itself after picking. It's inhibited while the avocado is still on the tree. Honey can last for two years. Do you think this is a myth or fact? This is a myth. Honey is probably the only food that can literally never go bad. If it's properly sealed with no air left in, it can go for millennia and still be edible. The oldest pot of honey ever found was 5,500 years old, next to the mummy of Winnie the Pooh. Nah, not really. Myth or truth? True! They're legumes, the type of plants that includes peas, chickpeas, and beans. Cashew nuts aren't nuts either. They're seeds that are collected from pretty large fruits. The same can be said about walnuts, almonds, pecans, and pistachios. Crab sticks are actually made from crab. Fact or myth? Myth. 
When you buy some sushi rolls with crab meat, what you get is no crab at all. The red and white stuff is what is called imitation crab, and it's basically paste made of fish. Its other name is surimi. Sushi was invented as an expensive delicacy for the rich? Fact or myth? Myth. Sushi was originally a way to preserve fish. It was stored in fermented rice, which could keep fish fresh for up to a year. And after that, the rice was thrown away while the fish was cooked and eaten. By the way, the vast majority of wasabi we eat isn't actual wasabi. Fact or myth? Fact. The real thing is very expensive. So what we get is just a mixture of horseradish, mustard, and green food coloring. Farmed salmon fresh is naturally gray. Yep, it's not bright pink. Do you think this is a myth or fact? True story. Wild fish eat a lot of shrimp, which makes their meat that trademark pink-orange color. The farm kind is fed with a special plant pigment for the same effect. If you get all tearful while cutting onions, put the onion in the freezer before cutting it. That will freeze the molecules of the chemical that makes you cry. Myth or truth? Truth! Another method is washing the onion in cool water just before cutting it. The cold and moisture left on the onion will not allow the tearful chemical to get in your eyes. And the third way is to put a wet paper towel next to your cutting board. The chemical gets attracted to the nearest water source, which is usually your eyes. But in this case, it'll be the towel. Back in the 18th century in the US, mac and cheese was considered a fancy food for the rich. Myth or fact? Fact! Pasta could only be imported from Italy, which made it expensive. And the process of making cheese was time and effort consuming. It didn't make the product cheaper either. Only the wealthiest could afford a plate of mac and cheese, and it was served in the fanciest restaurants as a delicacy. Oysters, lobsters, and pretty much any other seafood, on the other hand, were considered food for the poor back in the day. Is it a myth or fact? Surprising but true. Seaside communities fed themselves with what they could catch in the sea, and that included mussels, crabs, and a lot of other stuff we consider delicacies today. Wow, I think if I ate mac and cheese with lobster right now, my head would explode. Myth or fact? Myth. In fact, Fish was considered a gift fit for a king. English monarchs were known to be presented with huge pikes. And even before that, in the Roman Empire, fish such as red mullet was a delicacy that emperors paid for with large amounts of gold. The inventor of petroleum jelly, Sir Robert Cheesebro, never tested his product on himself. Myth or fact? <laughs> Myth. Sir Robert Cheesebro claimed to eat a spoonful of Vaseline every single day. He also asked his nurse to cover him head to toe in the stuff when he fell seriously ill. He soon recovered and lived to be 96 years of age. All the while, he firmly believed in petroleum jelly's miraculous properties. It was a slick product. Milk was never used as a material for plastic. Myth or fact? It was biodegradable and non-soluble in water and virtually didn't burn. But it was later outperformed by oil-based plastic, because the milk-based variety couldn't be molded and became brittle over time. Also, the oil-based kind was a lot cheaper in production. The name of a pound cake has nothing to do with its weight. Myth or fact? Fact. Pound cake got its name for the mass of its ingredients. It was originally made from a pound of butter, a pound of eggs, and, you guessed it, a pound of sugar. 
so it should be three pound cake. The most pricey pizza costs around $12,000. Myth or fact? Fact. It can only be cooked by three chefs in your home, and it takes three full days to make. Um, do the chefs have to stay in your home? In ancient Egypt, laborers were paid with food. They got radishes, onions, and garlic as part of their wages. Is it a myth or true? That's correct. These plants were known for their antibacterial properties even then, which made them pretty valuable. Cauliflower can only be white. Myth or fact? Myth. Although the most widespread color of cauliflower is white, it also comes in green, orange, and purple varieties. They're more difficult to cultivate than the white one, but aren't much different from it otherwise. As for the overall number of varieties of cauliflower, there are several hundreds of them. To easily test the freshness of eggs, put them in a bowl of water. A rotten egg will quickly go down to the bottom, while a fresh one will float. Do you think this is a myth or fact? It's a myth. In fact, rotten eggs should float, and fresh ones sink. The name for the orange color appeared before the people learned about the fruit. Myth or fact? Myth. Oranges actually gave their name to the color we now know as orange. In Old English, this color was called roughly yellow-red. Only when the fruit became widespread across Europe, the word that signified their color appeared. The smell of bananas freaks out bees. Is it a myth or fact? Fact. If you want to take a closer look at a beehive, make sure you don't have any bananas on you. The femorone that alarms bees to rise and protect their home smells like bananas, so you're likely to become their enemy number one if you get too close. Myth or truth? Myth. While dark and milk chocolate raise no questions, their white sibling isn't chocolate at all. It doesn't contain any cocoa powder, which makes chocolate, well, chocolate. The white variety is made of cocoa butter mixed with sugar and flavoring, usually vanilla. You passed the quiz. How many questions did you manage to crack? Let us know in the comments. And if your brain is hungry for more mind-blowing facts, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>